Hello and welcome. This is your funky Yonky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blood. And why? Episode 58, I think. In this one, we're killing corpses. Ah, beautiful double weapon sweep. Oh, I want to try this feeling. Oh, that was sick! Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Probably. Who are you? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Possibly. Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. You're the one who poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of it. The Arlesa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. And why did you decide to poison him? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malificar, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. So, why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. So why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. <laughs> so, really, the Arl had no idea? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach him? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful, at least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. Give me a chance, please. Oh, so how will you make things right? I... well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Isn't it a late for that? I don't think it will redeem me, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try after that. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. 
Kenny. Wake up. Mom's talking to you. And the answer? Are you still off tomorrow? Excuse me. Okay. Anyways, I don't believe you. I'm not surprised. So, what now? Yeah, sure what the hell. I'll take another party member. You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Would you rather I kill you? I... no, I don't want to die. I guess you'll do what you have to, and so will I. Uh, I think we're getting another follower. Then help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. So is he? Oh, he's not actually a party member. Damn. Alright, well. Might as well check to see if there's any, like, remains or anything in these prison cells. No. Well, I'd be able to see it through the walls, and no, there's no prison, there's no remains in these prison cells. Okay, so let's go forward. And sort through this pile of filth! Lesser elixir of grounding. Make sure. Am I ever going to actually use those, or is that only really for harder difficulties? I don't know. And a pile of bones. Oh, pile of bones on the other side. Oh, a note. A rolled up note. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Codex. Notes. Ginger for grandpa's flatulence. Black files. Correspondence to Raptus. Look for this guy. Wow, I really need to take some time to look through here. But not now. Right now, we're still just gonna keep going on and killing and stuff. And I, th I figure I'll do all that stuff off. Aw, you sneaky bastard. Oh, there's another one? Oh, there's a bunch! I must say, I like this new technique. Whack! 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 I am very happy with... Oh, you leveled up. I already know you're a shapeshifter. Let's see. Let's get your magic up to 25 there. And, yeah, boost your cunning a bit. Da-dum. Ba-dum. Ba-bum. Yeah. Go with expert herbal. No, 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 no. Expert combat training. Now you need. Yeah, you need an area of effect attack. And I think that'll do. And you? Let's chew on some of those mushrooms. Because I know we got them. I know we got a bunch of them. Eat it. Healing would be helpful now. Ugh, such a whiner. Better. And I ate the mushroom. It's supposed to boost my. I guess I have to make potions out of it. Oh well, whatever. Lifestone. Pile of bones. Not a bad shield, I guess, but it's not like anybody in the party uses it. And. No, not yet. This is definitely the right place to end this one. This has been your Funky Funky with the Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Blind! 
stay tuned for episode 59, I think, and I hope you'll see me next time.